G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to, well, it's not going to be a let's play, well, kind of a let's play, but not my usual let's play. Um, this is actually going to be a bit of a let's play tutorial. Yeah, let, let's go with that. that. That makes sense. Sound like I'm talking shit so far, but hang with me here. Trust me on this. So what am I doing? Well, there are times in Star Citizen when it bugs out and things are not going well and it's absolutely an absolute pain in the ass to play. Some might actually call this a feature, others may call these many, many, many bugs. But when those days do happen, and they happen quite regularly, then it's, um, let's just say, a good idea to sit back, relax, and try to do something a little bit different in the universe. And that being said, today I'm actually going to focus on looting. And not just any looting like in between a mission, but specifically going to a location to loot. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, you just saw a little bit of that just before, but I've actually now parked myself at um, this particular, well, what do you want to call it? Outpost on the planet, uh, mining settlement thing. The, the place where there's a landing pad, um, that orange marker there, and um, the primary mission that I'm giving myself today is to go and loot as much as possible. Um, I'm also doing a little bit things a bit differently. Like for example, um, I'm not doing in-game talking today. I'm doing over editing talking. So that means I'm just gonna try to have a fluid conversation while everything else happens and changes around us. Um, so what am I doing? This is what I'm doing. I'm going to show you guys, and I'm sure you know how to loot, but this is doing a specific looting run. So I've switched my location to local, and I am just going to take everything I can find. And um, yeah, that's the general idea. So I, I recommend try it out for yourself, see what you get. But it's a good way of actually just looking around these places where you may or may not actually get a chance to do it, and um, see what's actually there. Like, um, for example, where are we? Huh. While things are loading up, that's a lot of um, things. So I'm not going to bore you by moving them all across and, or showing you how they all move across, but I'm going to change a filter just so I can drag and drop fa fairly easier. And with the uh, thanks of Movie Magic, that's all done and um, off the next box. So yeah, it's a bit of an exploration of the environment that you're in, looking for things that are not usually there. Uh, some loot boxes appear or, well, not just say disappear from one place, reappear in another. That's what's kind of normal and fun about the game. Other things tend to trip you up, which you're about to see here, because I'm not gonna open the door, get excited seeing a white package on the ground on the left-hand side, get close to the bloody thing, and yeah, that's not gonna help me. So, um, yeah, you just walk around and have a look. I mean, I've done these types of, um, let's just say, pick up packages from here, run off, deliver them, but I never spent the time to actually sit back and look around and see what's happening, or, or really loot. I've done it yeah, a few times, but not really in this level. So, off I go to the next um, building, which is just down the path, down the beaten path. And, yeah. Maybe I should have edited that part out as well. But anyway, so nothing here I can collect. Let's have a look in here. The right hand side, I see something in the corner there. There we go. And what's here? Mm -hmm. Loading, loading, loading. Still loading. Quite a bit of stuff. And so, just drag and drop. That's all you need to do. Now, I, I'll say this. What may look like a few seconds in editing time is actually quite a few minutes in real time. So I think in real time it was about 10 minutes has passed so far. In normal viewing time, it's been around about just under four and a half. So just budget that in there as well. Don't think you're gonna do this um, very quickly. It would be very nice if there was a select all button or a um, shift and click to select the items that you want to drag over, that would be very nice. But that hasn't occurred yet. So what am I doing now? Well, the idea is I'm going to go back into my ship, close the hangar door, and, um, well, come on. Stupid thing. Um, 
I'm complaining after the fact. Yeah, I know. It's a sad existence. But uh, yeah, I'm going to drop everything I got locally into the ship. So as you saw at the very beginning of this, I moved a few things around. Now I'm going to move a lot. I'm also going to clear the filters to the local area because remember I had the filter set up before so I could easily just drag stuff in. And now I'm just going to drag it back into the um, vehicle. I'm also going to change the filter here to something that is, well, nothing. So I can just drag and drop faster. And again, you see how this is going, drag and drop, drag and drop. So this is, well, this takes a bit of time depending on how much you take. And then you go off to your next location. So I would suggest going off to a, another Amnesty zone on the planet or moon, wherever you are, and doing pretty much a rinse and repeat. What you should be careful of, and what I've included on the purpose of this video, is not to do the following. You'll see. Wait for it. Flying into a restricted area. Now you might be saying to yourself, Ev, you've done this many times before with the missions. Haha, -ha, true, but they're kind of expecting you to come. This time you've got no authorization of being here, and as a result, they start firing. So get the hell out of there as quick as bloody possible. Now there is a warning with this, make sure you get out of there, as you can see the bullets flying around, or the laser bullets flying around get out of there as quick as possible so they don't blow up your ship and then you end up losing all your loot that you just spend so much time working on now i need to bugger off somewhere else to get some repairs and do some other stuff so let's head back to a space station whichever one's nearby doesn't have to be anyone in particular but um usually the ones above the main planets are probably the better ones in this situation so here we are i think i'm in hurston or above hurston um i honestly don't remember um and that's because i just don't pay attention anymore but yeah you see i'm here i've taken damage maybe landing with the engines off may not be the smartest thing to do say. but yeah we didn't die even though there is smoke in the cabin but anyway, this ship can take a pounding. So the idea is, now that I'm here, yes, you can repair your ship. By all means, if you're damaged, please do so. Or if you're like me, eh, it'll blow up at some point. Um, but yeah, now the intent is to sell. So you've got all that stuff that you want to sell. Let's go off and sell it. So, wait. Oh, hang on, who's this? Yeah, that's a player. Hey! No, 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 no. Open the doors, Ev, open the doors. I'm not having this random player steal my ship. No, no, no. Oi, get back in the elevator. Yeah, you, in. Call the elevator. I'm not having this stuff stolen. Although jokes on them, they have to repair the ship. Hmm. Okay. They've buggered off somewhere else. Maybe to the next um, hangar bay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now then... Slight change of plans, well it was the intent but I'm going to try to do this faster now, is I'm going to store the ship. Ugh, oh, bugger. Oh yeah, great, good one. It takes forever to load up and the doors close. Come on. Yes, even though this is in, uh, after, in the edit mode, I'm still annoyed about this. And it's bloody framey as hell. I hate when this happens. So where the hell am I? Is it Everest Harbor? I don't even know. Welcome to the ASOC Big Laboratory uh, System. Ugh. Okay, I'm too close to the bloody thing. Hangar pad. Oh, yeah, I'm in Everest Harbor. So I'm, I'm right. I'm in, in Hurston. Or in the area of Hurston. So, while things are loading, I will stop for a second and let my computer load up and load your entire surroundings. There we go. That's a bit better. And now I'm going to head off, first of all, to the um, Galleria area. I plan to hit the Galleria, and I also have plan to hit the Med Bay area. And I'll also finish up in um, the, the last area underneath the station. Um, so yeah, we're at the clothing store. And why at the clothing store, Ev? Because we actually did get some clothing, believe it or not. Now, what I like to do is I like to just select everything just in case I forgot to move stuff around. I know I haven't, but um, again, for the purpose of this um, tutorial, you can see. Now, look at this. Just under 400 AUEC for that. 
Easy money or easy in-game credits. What does that mean? That's probably just paid for my repair bill. Okay, maybe more like it now has paid for the repair bill for selling two things. Now, one thing that I can't figure out is why some items actually have a price tag and others don't. I don't know if that is um, something for the region. I don't know if that is just the way that the game is uh, looking like or going to. Um, but it just is an indication that some things that you collect may be sellable at some spots, but not at others. So I tried to jump out and jump back in just to see if there's any difference. But apparently, no, nah, that, that didn't do it. So there are items here which are selling of less of a value, like that thing for 144, I think it was. Yep. This thing here for 144. And you, you just go through the process. So gloves 90, I'm not going to wear them. I mean, if I wanted to, I could keep myself a set for a rainy day. I don't know. But let, let's be honest, I'm not going to wear them. But I am going to try to keep as much of this stuff as possible because maybe, just maybe, maybe I can't sell them here at the space station, but maybe I can sell them somewhere else. You never know. Oh, the jacket. What's that? 600 and something? Not too bad. So, sell the boots. What am I going to do with those? So, I, again, that last part, what I was saying, I don't know if that's actually true that you can actually get different, sell these things at different locations and actually get money from them. I'm hopefully going to assume yes, but I could be completely wrong. So, if you guys know better, which I'm pretty sure you all do, please let me know in the comments. And if you don't and you're interested, just like me, put a comment in there and actually say, yeah, come on, answer Evan's question. Can you actually sell these things at a different location? This thing is kind of cool. Um, I'm probably not going to sell this one, even though it's like for 81, is it 81, 91? I think it's 81. I'm going to keep this because this might be um, cool as a retro type of look at a later point in time. Uh, at least that's what the um, description says. But for the rest, let's bugger them off. Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, anything that has a value to it, sell it. We looted it. It's not going to um, destroy anything if we sell it. And the other stuff I'm going to keep just to see if I can sell them somewhere else. Purely on principle, just because I don't know. And um, maybe there's a website out there that will tell me. But um, yeah, I haven't gone looking for it. Now, again, this is more ship stuff. Like, um, yeah, ship stuff. More of the modifications to different things. I don't know, coolers, quantum drives and stuff like that. I wasn't expecting to have anything in my inventory, really. Although that'd be quite cool. Um, yeah, okay. Video games, can't play them, but that would also be quite cool. Now I'm going to hit the um, admin office and the trade consoles. Why am I doing that? Maybe I've got some stuff in here that I can actually sell. Um, so let's have a look. Um, it will give me my backpack and the Titan and a few other things, anything I'm carrying. So let's see the Titan. Yeah, it, it knows I've got stuff here. It just it doesn't want to buy it. So that's unfortunate. How about the backpacks or anything else? No, no, that was a Titan. What did I select before? Ah, oh, bugger. Anyway, principle is the same. It knows I've got stuff. It doesn't want it yet. Now, I could server hop, like log in, log out, log in, log out, and see if that actually changes anything. But yeah, what, why bother? Why go through the extra aggravation? Um, so, where am I heading off to now? Well, I'm going to head off to the um, medical area. And I know you're probably sitting there wondering, hey, whoa, 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 hang on, Evan. Why the medical area? Because actually, when you um, in the medical area area here, you can actually sell shit at the pharmacy, um, which is quite um, cool, and they actually take quite a bit for a decent price. And you'll see in a moment. As soon as I bloody get there, come on, elevator! What the hell's going on? I press the button. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. Serves me bloody right. Okay, so pharmacy by now it should all be loaded i shouldn't have an absolute issue and um yeah here we go i'll go to my favorite console this one here hit the button and um yeah let's see what i can sell so let's select on so you can actually sell bullets here which is interesting you can also sell everything that you've collected um like so for example these med well, i'm not gonna call them med pen but these pen type things 
Um, you can sell the med pens if you want. Um, I now that I know how to use it, I think I'm going to keep them because well, it saves me from actually um, spending money on them. But as you can see here, it gives you the option to sell all this other stuff, and it's um, over time when you collect more and more of these things, they actually add up to be quite a bit. So you can do the um, selling the item at once, one at a time, uh, or in this case, it actually gave you the option to only do it only one item at a time. But you can actually, if this one lets me, I'm going to try it now. You've, no, maybe not. No, maybe I should have actually read, seen this video before I started commenting on it. But there is a, an option here to, ah, here we go. I was a little bit behind. So it gives the option to select multiple and then sell. So that's also quite cool. However, that system's not working the best because if you go one past what you have, it, it does that, which makes no sense to me. So you have to go back then go forward again and then you can sell it, which uh, I don't know. Actually, I do know it's all about the way that they've done their, their coding logic, but I'm, I'm not gonna argue with that. Um, so yeah, just sell these things in, and you can see you're making quite good money. Now we're up to the, um, the, the med guns is what I'm calling these things. And um, how many do I have? I have an absolute shitload and they're going for 707 a pop. Now, if you collect, let's just say, a number of these things, you're going to actually make um, quite a bit of um, in-game credits on them. So, and as you see, where did I collect most of these things from in my past? Uh, loot boxes when I'm doing bunker runs, as well as, um, I think there was a couple actually in the last place where we were. So you actually have the option to find these things around the verse. Yes, you can actually take them and utilize them for yourself. Please do, if you know how to do so. And if you're playing with friends, yeah, that sounds right. Um, if you're playing with friends, then yep, go with that as well. But if you want to make some in-game cash because you're saving up for something, find as many of these bloody things as you can, sell them. And as you can see, every little bit helps. And um, yeah, we're getting there. And again, that stupid error that happens where it goes too far, you have to go back and go forward again, pops up from time to time. Watch. Oh no, that one, that one worked. We'll see. Um, what the hell's that? Even I don't know. Uh, okay, these things, I honestly, I've got a few of them. I don't know what they do. <laughs> really, I don't. I haven't had the time to buggerize around with it. I might try to figure out what that does at a later point in time. But for the moment, I think I will, yeah, I'll, I'll sell a couple. We're in the selling game at the moment. So let's just sell, 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 sell. So I'm just scrolling down. I think that's probably the annoying part about this, that you can't actually, it doesn't take you down to the last thing that you sold. Um, that's more so, well, it's annoying. It, it there, There's a reason behind that from a coding thing. It's a lot easier to start at the top of the list every single time you do something, but yeah, an enhancement would be that. Um, Multi-tools, I think I have a few thousand of them by now, so I can sell that one. That's not gonna break the bank. But yeah, so we're getting there. Now let's check. Um, yeah, let's check there. Do I want to sell anything from here? Mm, maybe not. Let's check there. Again, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Jesus, there's a lot. So yeah, it's completely up to you. Will I probably sell all these things? No, most likely not that. But where is my Titan? Here we go. Here we go. There's another. See, I was right. There was another uh, med gun there. I'm calling it that. I don't know if that's the right word, but why not? Oh, there's a couple there. So it took me, my side, a little bit of time to load. So 7, 14, and 21. So just about over 2,100 in grand credits for three guns. Can't complain. So sell, 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 sell. So as you can also see now, top right hand side of the screen, I've now gone over the 2 million AUEC mark. Now it didn't mean I got to there because I was just selling medical equipment, but um, it gives you a good indication as to, hey, th this is actually adding up. And that's what I actually wanted to show more so in today's video that by looting, yes, obviously keep the stuff that you want for yourself, 
but you can actually make some interesting um, money in this and you don't have to jump all over the universe to do it um, so yeah just keep that in mind I, I know it's a different video I know it's a bit of a tip maybe you all know this maybe you have seen it maybe you just like ah who has time for that dealer's choice but this is also a very interesting dynamic in the game and it's also kind of therapeutic at times if you just want to have a nice easy game experience without the fear of dying or doing anything stupid or just anything like that but yeah that's basically what i wanted to um show so thank you very much for watching i hope you liked the video what the hell's happening here oh yes i remember hmm yeah <laughs> shit thanks for watching so much for the tutorial damn it <laughs>